Do you ever wonder how SQL Server works with join operators? Today I'm not going to talk about inner joins, left joins, or cross joins, but rather I'm going to talk about the operators you see in SQL Server Management Studio when you look at your execution plan. They're some of the most important operators you'll be paying attention to when you're query tuning a slow running query. Essentially, there are three ways that SQL Server will join two data streams. You've got hash join, nested loop join, and merge join. And these three are pretty much great at what they do, all three, but the key lies in picking the right operator for the right job in order to get the optimum performance you're looking for. First off, the generalist. The hash match operator usually gets to do the heavy lifting. It splits the data into hash buckets so it can join the contents of each bucket one at a time. Now, this process uses up memory and or temp DB space which might become a problem for you if your server is running low on memory. The second join operator is the nested loop join. This is a brute force approach to joining more similar to procedural programming. It takes the smaller table, what we call the build input, and loops through all of its rows. Now for each row in the build input, it gets the matching rows from the larger table, the probe input. In this example, that means going through all of the rows in the probe table for every row in the build table, and this is known as a scan, and it can be potentially very time-consuming. Now look what happens when the probe input is already sorted. We can jump straight to the first match and just fetch a range of matching rows. Now this is known as a seek, or technically a range scan, and it's much more efficient. The good news with nested loop joins is that they don't build hash tables, so they don't need any memory to work. And that could very well offset the performance penalty from scanning the probe input over and over. Speaking of sorting, what if both your data streams are sorted the same way? Enter the merge join. When both the streams are sorted the same way, have the same column data types, you can merge them together. The performance of the merge join is remarkable, and it uses practically zero memory. But unfortunately, this is one fussy operator, because the data types have to match exactly, and so does the sort order of both tables. And you can only use it for so-called equijoins, meaning that the left table columns are equal to the right table columns in the join condition. I hope this was an eye-opener to you, and we'll get you started on some more advanced query tuning. Uh, if you want more of this stuff, check out my blog, SQLSunday.com, where I write lots of stuff on query tuning and cool coding patterns. Or contact me for some custom T-SQL training. Have a nice day.